Hey, good morning, folks, comma. This is Philip, comma. And today I'm going to show you how I use my computer completely hands-free using three tools, period. The first tool is what you're watching right now, colon. It's called Dragon for Mac, comma, and it allows me to talk to my computer instead of typing on a keyboard, period. Go to sleep. It's just like Siri or Alexa, except it's on the computer. And you can find this at nuance.com. It's available for both Mac and Windows. The second tool that I use is the SmartNav hands-free mouse. This is a motion tracking mouse. So if you look in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, see that green dot? That's what the camera sees, and it's looking at this reflective sticker that I've placed on my microphone boom. So if you watch, I'm gonna move my head left, right, up, down, and around. And you can see that the mouse cursor follows exactly where I'm looking. So with Dragon, I've replaced the keyboard. And with SmartNav, I've replaced my mouse. And there's one final tool which brings it all together and makes it all work. And that final tool is the foot pedal. This is the X keys foot pedal. It has three buttons. And you can see that down here. That's my actual foot. That's a live video feed of my foot. There it is. And I've made it so that the center button clicks the mouse. So I can go around and click, click, click. And the right-hand button does a right click. And the left-hand button turns on and off motion tracking, because sometimes I don't want the mouse cursor to move. So it's off, click, and now it's on again. So I think you can see how these three tools allow you to have a complete computing experience without actually using your hands at all. So what happened was a couple years ago, I had a lot of RSI and carpal tunnel problems in my wrists because I work at a computer all day long. And I had to alleviate the pain I was experiencing. And this is what I came up with. And I've been using it for years, and it works great. So hopefully, this can be helpful to some of you. Um, I'm now going to demo kind of all this together so you can see how it works. So I'm going to start with taking a photo of myself. All right, that's me. I'm going to save that to my downloads folder. And here it is here. And I'm going to go ahead and email that to myself. So I'm going to go to mail, make a new message, wake up, Philip. This is a test email. I'm going to attach the photograph that I just took, period. Go to sleep. And I'm going to drag this on. And I'm going to send this to myself. So as you can see, I did that all hands free. Oh, and there it is. So here's the email I just sent to myself, uh, dictating with Dragon, using the mouse with Smart Nav, and clicking with the foot pedal. So I don't need this. I've also made a few customizations uh, outside of just the tools. So for example, I've made it so that the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, if I move the mouse there, it shows my desktop. And the upper left-hand corner of the screen, if I move my mouse there, shows all my windows. So this makes it very easy to navigate using just a few small motions of my head and the foot pedal to click. And I can even switch desktops, as you've seen. I've also made it so that if I click and hold the left button, I can select things. That's how I was able to drag the photo into the email, for example. And I have it so that new paragraph, holding down the right pedal turns the microphone on for dictation, so I don't have to say things like wake up and go to sleep all the time, period. So it's a press to talk button as well. So anyway, I'm hoping that anyone else who maybe, maybe suffers from RSI or carpal tunnel or any, something like that may want to give their hands a break. This is a great way of doing it. I've put in the description below links to my configurations for the smart nav configuration and the foot pedal configuration in case you want to use the same setup that I'm using. Uh, you can also contact me if you want at philipbrokem.com. That's me right there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope this is of some use to somebody out there because there's probably more people than just myself who, who have uh, you know, repetitive stress problems and want to start using their uh, keyboard and mice a bit less. Anyway, hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. Uh, cheers.